When you get your wand, the first thing you've got to do is practice. Unlike other remote controls, it doesn't have any buttons. It's purely gesture recognition. And getting those gestures right is important to using the wand properly. Once you've got them right, you become an expert at using the wand. Um, it takes about 10 minutes to practice and describes it in the manual. But I'm going to show you how to do it here. When you hold your wand, you find you've taken the battery tab off and uh, the batteries are connected. As you move it, you'll feel it doing a number of pulses. If you're really quiet, we can hear that now. If I just turn it, can you hear that? Now those pulses are telling you that you've done a correct gesture. In this case, I'm doing a rotation gesture. Do you see how slowly I'm doing it? Now that's like, could be like turning up a volume knob. That's uh, clockwise, so that would be turning up the volume. If I go this way, I'm doing it anti-clockwise. Now all those pulses that you can hear is because it makes a pulse each time it turns a quarter of a turn. Now I've got that right and I know I can do the rotate gestures okay. I'm going to try flick up and flick down. Here's flick up. Did you hear the three pulses? That tells me that I've done that gesture correctly. Here's flick down. Four pulses. You see how gently I'm doing it? It's actually very, very easy. It's a sweet thing to use. If I do flick to the right, can you hear those pulses? That tells me that I've done a correct gesture, flick to the right. Now, once you've done all the gestures and you've learned them all, um, you're then ready to program your wand. And we talk about that in another video.